What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Premium Aquatics and today we're going to be taking a look at a coral dip by Emmy Coral. What's going on guys, we're back with another video and if you're new to this Premium Aquatics video series, this is where we're taking a look at new products each and every week to help you make an informed decision whether or not that product is right for you and your reef tank. So if you're new to what we're doing here, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can stay up to date every time that we're uploading a new video. So today we're going to be taking a look at a coral dip that is made by ME coral and if you are unfamiliar to what a coral dip is basically what it is is a formula of different components that you put into water and then you add a coral frag to that water stir it around blow it over the coral essentially what it does is it removes pests from the coral frag and if you have not experienced any pests whatsoever in this hobby congratulations for the rest of us we know the importance of dipping corals and maintaining a pest-free environment especially in a small environment such as a reef tank so today we're going to be taking a look at the me coral wash off and it comes in two different formulas you have the dip 2x as well as the dip 4x this is a little bit more of a concentrated formula and basically what you're getting is more bang for your buck. So let's jump into today's video where we're gonna be taking a colony of zoanthids that I picked up at the local fish store. And what we're gonna be using for a dip today is the Emmy Coral Wash Off 4X dip. All right, so we got our container. This container right here I got from the dollar store. And it was, I believe it's intended for uh, storing berries in the refrigerator. Uh, but I kind of liked it for the aspect of having a small container that had something that I could essentially lift up and down and kind of wash the coral that is in there and have the dip flowing over it. So right here we have our uh, zoanthids that we picked up from our local fish store. With this bucket right here is just kind of going to be our rinse bucket after we have it in the dip solution we'll put it in there and rinse it off a little bit see if we can get any critters off from it if there is any critters on. So to start things off we're going to use 12 ounces of water. So I'm going to take this container out and we're going to pour about 12 ounces of water into our dip container. Go. And then we're going to put a good bulk of the rest of it in our rinse container. Now that kind of affords me the opportunity to now grab the frag and we're going to go ahead and put that into our wash, well, our rinse bucket for now. Alright, so today we're going to be using the Emmy Coral Wash Off. This is the 4X dip. And I did some quick math. It, with the directions on it say to use 15 drops of the dip 4X to one liter of aquarium water. Now I'm gonna kinda stretch this out probably a little bit further than uh, most people would. Again, I'm only using 12 ounces. So what I did was I converted one liter into ounces uh, on you can basically just Google that and get that information. And then I divided the amount of ounces by 15. And what that did is it gave me a specification on um, how many drops that I would need for 12 ounces of aquarium water to create the solution. Left me with uh, 5.3, I think is what the calculation came out to. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to open up our dip. We're going to... Take a little portion of that out. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And that gives us our dip solution. Now that being the um, concentrated formula, uh, the 4X, basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our container that is going to be dipping or holding the coral, and just kind of swirl that around a little bit. All right, so now that we have our dip ready to go, we're going to take 
our corals and we're going to place them in the depth. And what I like to do with this container is just kind of have it move up and down so it kind of rushes the water over the coral. I'm just going to swirl that a few times and then I'm, it says five to ten minutes for the dip and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it sit there about every minute or so I'm going to go ahead grab the container and kind of swirl it around. We're going to see if we got any critters that come off. So we're about halfway through time frame or the recommended dip time frame and something that I usually like to do is I, I will take a flashlight just hold it over the container to see if there's anything uh, that's coming off. I can see um, some critters that are have fallen off at this point and obviously they're very small so it kind of makes it hard to pick up with the camera. I do see a couple of amphipods that have fallen off which is unfortunate because those are the guys that you want but if you just go ahead and throw corals in the tank eventually it is going to cause you some problems. Probably let these go for another two minutes or so. I'm not really seeing anything else fall off. I saw an amphipod. Uh, I saw a worm type critter come off and there's some dots on the bottom there. So we're going to give this a couple more minutes and then uh, rinse it off and add it to the display tank. Okay so now we've given uh, the coral a really good rinsing. Uh, we've pushed water over it to just make sure if there's anything that's on there that shouldn't be has every opportunity to come off and what we're going to do now is we're going to add the zoanthid colony to the display tank and as you can see right here we got the zoanthid colony it's been dipped pretty good indicator that this has been in the display tank uh, because it wasn't glued to anything at the local fish store so that's an even more important example as to why you may you need to make sure that you dip your corals because you don't really know where they're coming from. So right here we have our ME coral gel. We're gonna go ahead and apply it to the bottom. I'm not gonna put as much as this individual did, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a good, good squirt right there in the middle. And then we're going to place our zoanthids in the display tank. And I think I got a good little spot picked out. All right, folks, I hope you found this video helpful. If you are new to dipping, it is very important that you understand that dipping coral is a essential part of keeping a successful reef tank. You are basically playing Russian roulette with your reef tank if you're just taking corals from a store or buying them online and throwing them into your reef tank. If you want to take a look at the product that we featured in today's video, there are links down below. That's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you hit the thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next week right here with a brand new video.